I want to share a story with you. And this story began when I was in grade five. And when I was in grade five, I walked past my teacher's desk and this is what I saw. And it was a picture. And it said, scribbles all over it, and it said Scarface. Yeah, that was me. The Scarface girl. The ugly Scarface girl. And the reason that the kids called me the ugly Scarface girl was because I was covered in scars. You see, I had a tragic accident when I was two years old. I got burnt to 75% of my body. My cousins were burning shingles in the, in the, the fire. And the spark came out and landed on my dress. And I exploded. And the only thing that saved my life was that I was wearing a wet diaper. And so I was rushed to the hospital. And I spent four months in the hospital having surgeries every couple days. And then every two years until I was 20 years old, I had spent a month of my summer holidays in the hospital. And so every day I struggled with my scars. And I hated being the ugly scar-faced girl. I hated that I saw this picture. It bothered me. And my whole life has always been about being ugly. And, you know, I did end up getting married and I did end up having three beautiful kids and, and then I became a speaker and an author, best-selling author, won the Woman of Distinction and I won um, the, 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 um, the medal from the Queen Elizabeth Diamond Jubilee Medal. And now I go out and I share my message and I, I just want to help people to love who they are. And I just had a documentary come out about my life story called Still Beautiful. And it's just a beautiful documentary. And in this documentary, I share three lessons. <clears throat> and in those lessons, I share how you can feel still beautiful, even though you don't have a perfect body. And even though when you look in that mirror, and sometimes you think, yuck, who's going to love that ugly body? Who's going to love that? Well, somebody does. Tons of people love who you are. And I want to share that with you. And I want to share with you my three secrets that I teach in my Still Beautiful documentary. And then I want to share you the seven ways that you can embrace the real you. And I want to show you this new acronym that I came up for the word ugly. Because I want you to learn how to love the word ugly instead of hate it. And it stands for this. The U stands for you. Unique. I'm going to help you learn how you are unique. And the G stands for gorgeous. Yes, you are gorgeous. Hey, I got called gorgeous the other day by a guy that hardly knows me. And he just sees that I'm gorgeous. G for gorgeous. L stands for lovable. I'm going to teach you how you're lovable. And then the Y stands for you. So, ugly means the unique, gorgeous, lovable you. That's what I'm going to share with you. How you can love that unique, gorgeous, lovable you. And instead of looking in the mirror and saying, yuck, you're going to say, wow, I'm gorgeous. I love who I am. So that's what this program's all about. The seven ways to love the real you and embrace the real you. Sign up today because there's nothing else like it. And I just want to share with you what I know. Because I don't want you to hate who you are. I want you to love who you are. And when you love who you are, magical things start happening. Your life ch changes in incredible, incredible ways. So sign up and get involved and let me help you with what I've learned over the years of being the ugly girl and how I learned to walk out the door even though I'm covered in scars and even though I'm not perfect, I'm, I'm definitely not. You know, 
I've got one of the most imperfect bodies in this world. I, my face is covered in scars, my whole chest, my back, both my arms. I've got a bald spot, my legs. You know, my breasts are too low. My, I'm missing a nipple. And I got called gorgeous the other day. And I want you to feel gorgeous too. So, remember. You're, you're ugly, unique, gorgeous, lovable you. And I want to teach you how to do that. Have a great day. Sign up below.